Hello everybody, Jordan here. The PH is silent. Today I'd like to talk about the avian race in D&D known as the Aarakocra. Now you might suspect foul play in this video, but I'm absolutely qualified for the job. It's not much of a burden, and honestly, people can't stop raving about the videos. Well, this got a little awkward. Let's dive in. First, if you're new here, welcome. I make videos on the lore and mythology of Dungeons and Dragons. If you're interested in campaign settings like Eberron or the Forgotten Realms, or if you are looking for ideas to steal for your next D&D game, then I'd love to have you subscribe. I have over 100 videos on D&D lore with more to come, as well as D&D supplement reviews to help your game, both for players and dungeon masters. So subscribe, hit the bell icon, and pick a playlist to learn more. The Arakokra exist in many of the fantasy worlds of Dungeons and Dragons. Primarily though, they are found on the plane of air. They are very intelligent bird-like people who live in mountainous regions when found on the prime material plane. Typically the males are more colorful and the females are brown or gray, but that's up to you and your dungeon master really. In the Forgotten Realms, it is hinted that the Aarakocra came from Maztica, which is the land across the ocean to the west. Flights of them migrated from island to island across the trackless sea until they arrived in Faerun. Maztica needs its own video eventually, but I was surprised reading the Maztica campaign box set that it didn't mention the Aarakocra. Perhaps the majority of Aarakocra migrated leaving behind very few in Maztica. Or despite the Forgotten Realms saying they came from Maztica, perhaps the Aarakocra are more in touch with the plane of air than previously thought. Many might have migrated to or from the plane of air. See my video on the elemental planes by clicking the link in the doobly-doo or the top right corner of this video. If you love the intro to that video, give it a like. The elemental plane of air has constant air currents, which is how many creatures, including Aarakocra, are able to tirelessly fly. They ride these air currents. Known as the labyrinth winds, there are hidden realms that can only be reached by knowing the path of winds to take. Within the plane of air, there are bits of earth to rest upon where some Aarakocra make their home. Back in the Forgotten Realms, the first Aarakocra arrived in northern Faerun in 418 DR. From this migration, four major colonies were eventually created. The Star Mounts in the High Forest, the Storm Horns in Cormir, the Cloven Mountains on the Vihone Reach, and the Mist Cliffs in Chult. As of 5th edition, it looks like the Star Mountain colony was nearly wiped out by a green dragon. The descendants of these Aarakocra have sworn vengeance against the dragon, and they fly across the north looking for signs of his whereabouts. Could be an interesting plot hook for some adventures. These bird folk are claustrophobic and rarely go underground. They seek the open sky and live in high places such as mountaintops. They also have a need to travel, but not in the exploration sense. They simply enjoy seeing the world zip underneath their feet. They are a proud people with the eldest male serving as the leader of the tribe. Traditionally, Aarakocra become fighters. They spend their youth learning to hunt. Later on, they make tools and weapons to aid in this hunt. They speak the language of Arin. No, not, not that one. The, the primordial language of air elementals. It should be noted that most Aarakocras speak common, but NPC Aarakocra are traditionally illiterate. Player Aarakocra being the exception to that. The Aarakocra worship few deities. Erythenia, also known as the Queen of Avaril, or Winged Elves, is an elven goddess. Erdi does not stay in one place for long, and she delights in unpredictable weather. A chaotic good deity, her symbol is a bird silhouetted against a cloud. She has few and scattered small temples across Faerun. Erdi would sometimes appear to the Aarakocra as a giant white bird. Feathers that fell from this goddess are some of the most treasured items in an Aarakocran nest. They also also worship the elemental wind goddess Akadi. This is not as prevalent, but any Aarakocran would know and respect Akadi. It is possible this connection with the elven goddess that Aarakocra feel closest to elves. They tend to keep their distance from other races. They enjoy the fact that most elves have a love of nature and respect it. And they dislike orcs, goblins, and the like because these creatures have in the past captured and tormented Aarakocra. A hermit or sage background would fit an Aarakocra well. They enjoy peace and solitude. It would be a very large or important reason to leave home behind an adventure, especially with strangers. Treasure holds little sway to them, and truly they will only seek out conflict when it comes knocking on their door. As reluctant as these creatures are, they are also burdened with great purpose. These creatures, these Aarakocra, have a historical tie to the Wind Dukes of Akka. 
Also known as the Vadi, they are a race of immortals who have a long history within the multiverse of Dungeons and Dragons. The two races have a connection with the Plane of Air. If the Wind Dukes needed aid, the Aarakocra would assist. This actually ties heavily into my new D&D campaign I'm streaming on Twitch, The Rod of Seven Parts. As the story becomes uncovered in that game, I'll post more lore videos about the Vadi, the Plane of Air, etc. So stay tuned. The Aarakocra have a sworn hatred of earth elementals. Being on the opposite side of the Plane of Air, they detest the underground tunnels of the Plane of Earth. Most of all, they hate gargoyles, who are a perversion of flight. Earth-like creatures should not be allowed to soar up in the air. These two fight as the rivalry between air and earth is as old as the planes themselves. The race of Aarakocra was introduced to 5th edition D&D with the Elemental Evil Player's Companion. If you play the adventure Tomb of Annihilation, you may run into some Aarakocra. After all, a tribe of them lives down in Chult. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your gaming group. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. If you're interested in where I get my research from, check the reference section in the doobly-doo below. Thank you again, patrons, for all your support. I'll see you all in the next video.